guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second video I'm filming today. So this is the second video you guys are going to see of me like sitting on my bed instead of in front of my vanity, which I usually do. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Also, when I sit right here, I can use natural lighting, which is like super exciting. I have my ring light, but this is what it looks like with the ring light on. So it's just like, I mean, it's good, but it's like, I don't need the ring light. I can just use natural light. And today it is overcast and rainy. It's actually like the day that Hurricane Florence is here. Like it, it's now. <laughs> it's raining outside because of Hurricane Florence. Um, by the time this video goes up, I'm pre-filming a little bit. So anyways, it's super windy. Like the trees are like, we have like this tarp on our patio. What you guys don't care. Um, we're fine though. I'm also kind of expecting the power to go out like at any minute because it always goes out. This kimono, it looks like a robe, doesn't it? I've really been liking kimonos. This one is from Express, by the way, but like my friend Honeybee Philosophy, Melissa Prada here, Parada, um, she always wears kimonos, kimonos, and they're so cute. So I figured I would buy one and I kind of feel like I'm wearing a robe. Not though. <laughs> Anyways, oh my god, I am tangenting and just super chatty. I haven't filmed in a month, so I'm just like, blah, 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 let's get it all out now. Um, I found a new YouTuber that I love. Her name is Jessica Braun. A lot of you guys probably already know her. Jam Beauty 89 and I have just been binge watching all of her videos, and I love, I love her. I just think that she's so down to earth, so natural, so honest, and she's very just like, here's the products that I've been using, here's new, you know, I did a haul, um, if I like a product, I like it, if I don't, I don't, and she's just very, like, just natural, and I just, I just love, oh, I just love watching her videos, that sounds obsessive and weird, I know, but anyways, um, I got this video idea from her, I don't know if she was the first person to ever do it, but she's the only person I've ever seen do it, so that's who I'm going to credit for this video, but this is the 10 products that I still like one year later video. So basically what I did is I went through and I watched my favorites videos. Now I have been consistent with favorite videos. That's the one type of video that I always do. I have done them monthly since I started my channel like four years ago. I always have a monthly favorites video. So if you like favorites videos, I'm going to link my playlist down below for you so that you can check out mine. I've never missed one. And I think they're so cool because you can go back and see like what products you were really loving at that time. I need a drink. Ooh, I thought I had a, I thought I had a La Croix up here. La Croix? Is it La Croix or La Croix? La Croix? Whatever. I had a sparkling water. Um, that's a side note. <sighs> what was I even saying? Um, yeah, I went back and watched my favorites videos and these are products that I talked about in my favorites videos like a year to 18 months ago and I wanted to bring them up again to let you guys know that I still really like them and why I really like them. I think sometimes when you're constantly doing favorites videos, I know myself, I don't like to repeat products too frequently because I want to talk to you guys about the newest, the latest, the greatest, new things. You know, when you talk about the same thing over and over again, your videos get really stale and really boring. I think sometimes and so I'm always trying to mix it up and I'm always trying to talk about new products but in reality these are products I continue to use and then just because I don't talk about them in videos doesn't mean that I don't still use them if that makes any sense at all so I actually have 11 products I couldn't narrow it down but I'm gonna go ahead and just get started so the first one is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette I know there's a lot of drama going on with Jaclyn Hill right now so Let's not get into all of that. I do really, really like this palette though, you guys. I bought the original launch that came out in June. Yeah, it was like June 22nd of 2017. I remember that because it was right... <laughs> loud weenie dogs. Um, it was right after we moved to Charlotte and we moved here on June 15th, which was my birthday. Um, so it was like June 22nd or whatever that this launched and I talked about it in my favorites video and I still use this palette all the time you guys like daily almost well I mix it up a lot but this is something I always go back to especially like these colors right here the more like just normal like neutral colors I just feel like it's such a good universal palette like you have everything you need in this palette 
you really don't need anything more in your life in your makeup collection than a palette like this and the formula is so good so definitely love this i still love this i kind of want to buy a new one because mine is disgustingly dirty i have almost hit pan on a couple of colors and i think the newer version has the colors like written on the pan i think and maybe it doesn't have this i'm really not too sure but that's unnecessary. I don't need to buy a new one, but I kind of want to buy a new one. Plus, there are Ulta now. And when this came out, Ulta didn't have Morphe. It was only Morphe that had Morphe. So, you could buy it at Ulta now, which is really cool. Um, Yes, love that. I have another eyeshadow palette. So, this I bought right around the same time as the Jaclyn Hill palette. This I bought for my birthday in 2017, which is June 15th. Um, so, I actually purchased this from Sephora on my actual birthday. We came, we like... We landed, we drove here, but we landed in Charlotte on my birthday, and I think, like, I bought this in the car on the way to Charlotte. I was, like, doing my online shopping in the moving van. Um, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, the Natasha Denona Star Palette is phenomenal, you guys. This is the palette that made me fall in love with Natasha Denona. Um, I know she has bigger palettes than this, but this is, like, the bigger of her smaller-ish palettes. Um... Since then, she's come out with, I think it's like 15 pans, and these are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 pans. This one is at least. Um, but this is not a limited edition product, so you can get it all the time, which is great. So I feel like I can always talk about it in videos. And the color selection is just perfect. You have a couple of cool colors, mostly warm tones, very natural. Um, you can get some spicy colors in here, like you got your purples, and you're just fun, like... Oh my gosh, that is coming off almost blue on camera. It's like a duochrome. It's almost like a blacky gray with a green duochrome, but it looks blue on camera. Weird. Um, the variety of just like, ooh, this did come, I will say. So this shadow right here was broken when I purchased it, and I didn't want to return it because um, this particular palette is not available in stores here in Charlotte. And I didn't want to like send it back and wait for another one. But ever since then, I've had to keep like pushing it back in. So some of the powders are really, really soft. Keep that in mind. It's fine. Like I've used it and it's fine, but it was like about to pop out just now. So I was like, ooh, I had to push it back in. Um, but yeah, I love this. I use it on my wedding day. I use it all the time. You can get a full look with one palette and it is amazing. The formula is so good, you guys. Their titanium finish is what I always call them. Like this one right here. And like this one right here and this one and the one that I have to keep pushing back in the texture and the shine is just like in a league of its own It is so good. The mattes are so creamy and so blendable so good since then I've bought Three other Natasha Denona shadows. I'm wearing the sunset palette on my eyes today They're just they're just so good now. I've talked eight minutes about two eyeshadow palettes. So moving along here um, Marc Jacobs, so this coconut bronzer I remember, and it's so funny how you tie things back to like moments in your life, and we moved here about a year ago, so I can very easily relate things to about a year ago because I relate it to when we moved. So this is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Bronzer. It originally launched in like May of 2017, and I remember that because I was, oh, I got in a car accident. I got rear-ended on the freeway. It was a hit and run. They drove away. And that was like right before we moved here, like a month or two before we moved here. And I remember freaking out because I was like, oh my God, now I got to get my car fixed before we move. And I had to take my car to Geico to get assessed or analyzed or whatever. And I remember sitting in the waiting room waiting for the agent to come out. And I was like browsing, browsing. And Trend Mood posted that this had like launched. And I was like oh my god and so I bought it like while I was sitting in the Geico waiting room I remember that so weird right but yeah the Marc Jacobs coconut bronzer I love this bronzer I wore it on my wedding day I think it's the most perfect just like neutrally not too cool not too warm not too orangey terracotta just like perfect neutral undertone bronzer it's matte so you can contour with it I actually have purchased a backup since they relaunched it this year I purchased a backup so I can you know because this giant pan isn't enough um, so love that. Now this blush, this is the Marc Jacobs um, Flesh and Fantasy Air Blush Br Air Brush Air Blush Blush. <laughs> I purchased this in 
November 2016. So I've had this for a while. I actually purchased this in San Francisco when Melissa Prada and I went. Um, I've talked about her twice in this video now. Hi Melissa, I hope you're watching. Um, anyways, so yeah, this is the only thing I purchased um, at Sephora when we were there. It's like the big Sephora that's in like Times, I was going to say Times Square. Um, what's the square thing? Whatever, you guys, if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but this blush is so good, you guys. I actually wore it on my wedding day. You're seeing a trend here, right? But this blush is just beautiful. It's like a nude, but beautiful, like, mauve nude blush. It, it wears well with every eye look, every lip look. It looks so natural because it has, like, this almost, like, incandescent, like, powder. Like, you see how it has these stripies on it? So the blush itself, the pigment is matte. But then this more like champagne-y color is almost like an incandescent, just like lit from within looking powder. So when you swirl it together, it just gives you a beautiful blushy glow. It is so pretty. So pretty. So I'm so happy that I have that. Um, Tarte's Exposed. I'm not going to talk about this for too long because I talk about it all the time, but I just don't use it in videos very frequently anymore. But in reality, this is pretty much the... I mean, I wear this blush all the time, you guys. If I don't know what blush to wear, I will grab Flesh and Fantasy or Exposed. Like, it's always one or the other. And in fact, I brought both of these to Punta Cana with me for my wedding. And I wasn't sure which one I was going to wear until the day of. Why is my thing counting down? Four, three, two, one... Okay, memory card was full. <laughs> ah, this video is so long. Um, but yeah, I brought both of them to Punta Cana with me, and I wasn't sure until the day of which one I was going to wear on my wedding day because they're both favorites. They both look very similar. This one's a little bit more like, ear, not iridescent -y, but just like glowy. And this one is completely matte. I ended up going with Flesh and Fantasy, but on a daily basis, like to work and stuff, I usually will grab this just because, you know, why not? I probably should be swatching these things for you guys, huh? Although, the lighting does not make for good swatches, but, oh yeah, you can see that one. So there's Exposed. Here is Flesh and Fantasy. You can see they are so stinking similar. Um, I'm not going to swatch the eyeshadows for you just because I've talked about them so many times in other videos. And so you've seen me swatch those a lot before. And then here's the bronzer. So, um, okay. The bad thing about sitting on my bed is I don't have makeup wipes handy. I'm just going to wipe it on my leg. Okay, moving right along. Um, this. So this is the Smashbox and Casey Holmes Cover Shop Palette in the color Pearl. There's Pearl and Gold. Um, I originally was going to buy both, and then I ended up just buying Pearl. Pearl is perfect. It's the highlighter I wore on my wedding day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you're seeing the trend here. This came out um, probably, so it came out at the same time that the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette launched, which I think was March of 2017, so like 18 months ago. And... Yeah, I remember because I bought them both at the same exact time at the same exact Sephora. Like, I went in looking for this, and I saw they had a stack of the Nicole Guerrero palette. I was like, yep, I'll buy one of those two, please. Yep, thank you. <laughs> like, right as they were pulling it out of the box. Um, anyways, what I love about this palette is it's so perfect for people with texture. Like, you, if like I have textured skin. I'm just like everybody else out there. I'm not perfect. I have textured skin. It's been really good lately because I've had a really good skincare regimen. But as a rule, like, I have textured skin. And so highlighter typically emphasizes the texture on your face. But this one doesn't do that. And it has just, like, a beautiful glow. This color right here is my favorite. It is in the color Turn It On Pearl. So you have Turn It On Pearl, Crank It Up Pearl, and Blow a Fuse Pearl. But this one, I mean, you can see it on my finger. It's almost like a white color. But it just goes, gosh, it looks so pretty. Look at that. It's like subtle and the perfect undertone and when you blend it out you just have like glowy beautiful cheeks and it just looks so 
pretty. I wore it on my wedding day. Maybe I'll try to insert some photos of me on my wedding day so you can see like the bling, but it's just the most beautiful highlight. And the one, so it doesn't have glitter or shimmer in it. The color Blow a Fuse Pearl has glitter in it, um, and it's more of like a blush topper. I don't use that one, but these two sometimes I'll mix together, but mostly I just use this one right here. So, love that. Um, the next thing that I use, and I'm going to talk about this quickly because I've actually been using this for way more than a year. Um, a lot of these products I have actually, but the NARS um, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, this I'm like scraping the bottom of you guys. It is the best eyeshadow primer ever. I've used it for years. I recommend it to everybody. I recommend it to coworkers. But if you're looking for a clear, non-sticky, fast drying eyeshadow primer, this is what you want to get. It is so good. It prevents your shadows from creasing. It makes them stay on longer. It's clear though, so there isn't like a pigment. So if you want something to put like a base down to make your shadows brighter, this is not going to work for you. But if you just want something to prevent them from creasing, this is the best. I've used it for years, but I did talk about it in a favorites video like 16 months ago. So I wanted to bring that up again. Um, the next thing is the Ardency in Modster Eyeliner. I want to say I heard it was maybe Jacqueline Hill talking about the black version of this in one of her videos. And I ordered, oh, there's makeup under my nails, yucky. The brown version of it, which was called Coffee, it's this one right here. They used to sell it at Sephora, they don't anymore. They used to sell it on Beautylish, they don't anymore. So right now, the only place you can buy Ardency In is off of the Ardency In website, which is totally legit. They ship super fast. I've actually purchased a backup off of the Ardency In, I um, Ardency In website because they were on sale for 40% off not too long ago. So I picked one up because this is the best eyeliner ever, you guys. It is so pigmented and so creamy. The brown color is that color brown where it's almost black, but it's less like harsh than a black eyeliner. And when you put this on, you can, you know, you can buff it out with your smudge brush or whatever, but once it sets, it sets. And it is super pigmented and it lasts all day long. It is waterproof. It is so stinking amazing. I love it so much. It's called their Modster Supercharged Eyeliner. I recommend the color coffee. The black one is good too. They have a bunch of different colors, but I'm still using this. And I think I purchased it for the first time probably like two years ago. So love that. Um, Tarte Shape Tape. This came out more than a year ago. I think I want to say it was close to two years, but maybe not, because I vaguely remember picking this up right before I moved. I could be making that up, though. Maybe it was in, like, February or something that I picked this up for the first time. I've used that one up since then. This is now a second tube. But anyways, Tarte Shape Tape, you guys already know, this is a YouTube staple. I'm, like, slouching. I need to sit up straight. <sighs> um... A YouTube staple. Everybody loves this stuff. It's the concealer I wore on my wedding day and it's just it's such a good full coverage blendable non-cakey concealer. So stinking good. Um, mascara Benefit Roller Lash. Now I know this came out much much more than a year ago probably more like three years ago but I didn't really get into it until about a year ago. I talked about it in might have been my February favorites video from 2017. I'm not really too sure, but I love this mascara. It is probably my favorite mascara. I used to really like Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Now I haven't used that one in a while, so I'm kind of like, I kind of need to go back to it and like test it out again and see if I still love it. But I love this one. The wand is so good. It's skinny and it has like a little bit of a curve to it, so it gives a little bit of a curl to your lashes. And the formula is so great, it's not flaky, and it just really pigments and packs onto your lashes, and it makes them look long, and it curls them, and it is so, it's just such a good, and it comes in brown too, which I haven't tried yet, but I kind of want to. So, really super good. And then the last thing, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Um, this is another product that I've used for much more than a year, but I still 
and like ride or die die hard brow whiz fan this is one of those brow products that I always find myself going back to drugstores have tried to dupe it they can't um, other brands have tried to dupe it they're good but they're not as good as the brow whiz it's just the most perfect tiny pointy precisely tipped brow product I wear the color taupe which I think is perfect I used it today um, if you need to recreate natural hair flicks, then this is the kind of product that you want, and this is the, I think, the best one on the market. So, Brow Wiz, still love you, still die hard, die, oh, I tried to be cute there and I totally messed it up, fumbled my words, ride or die, die hard, whatever. Anyways, so yeah, those are the 11 products that I still love a year later. I hope that you guys like videos like this. This was really super chatty, probably because my mind is like not focusing so well and I have the window right behind me and I'm like watching just like stuff blow around and the rain and all that so I'm getting really distracted so I'm sorry that this was long and chatty but if you like videos like this let me know and I will still, you know, keep filming them. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, let me know and thank you Jessica for inspiring this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.